What's up YouTube? It's Miss V here and I'm coming to you today with a raw ratchet video. Today we are talking about vagina. So if you want to learn about your vagina, then keep on watching. So today I want to talk about my vagina. Your vagina. Their vagina. His vagina. Who has vagina? Oh, this video is for informational purposes only. I just want to educate you guys a little bit on your vagina and his vagina and everybody's vagina. I don't know why today the word vagina is such a harsh word, but everybody should know about their vagina. I think I've said vagina like 10 times. Count how many times I've said vagina because, yeah, I really want to know. Anywho, I thought today I'd come to you guys and talk a little bit about pH balance. I want to give you guys a little input on your pH balance and what it's about and what you're supposed to know about it. So this video is for the everyday girl, the growing teenager, the grown woman, whoever, if you do not know about your pH balance, you should know about your pH balance. The word pH stands for potential of hydrogen. Since Kim is one of my favorite adored subjects, I thought I'd share a little bit of a breakdown with you about the word pH. That way, maybe some of you people out there could understand just a little bit more about the word pH and your vagina. So pH stands for potential of hydrogen. Not pussy hormones, not pancake hormones, pocketbook hormones, Potential of hydrogen. Hydrogen. And if you notice, the word hydrogen is in another word that you guys hear all the time. H2O. Water. The number two is letting you know that it's two forms of hydrogen bonded with one atom of oxygen bonded together to make the molecule. H2O. So, back to pH. So, potential of hydrogen. I like to think of it as water, really. You need water and whatever you eat is going to come out. So, if you put nasty things in, then nasty things is going to come out, girl. I mean, some of y'all walking around smelling like, oh my God. She did. pH is a measurement of acidity or alkalinity of a solution. pH can be measured on a scale of 0 to 14. The higher the pH, the more alkaline. The lower the pH, the more acidity. A normal pH balance is a 6.85 to a 7. Sometimes alkaline is called the base. Like, the bottom, if that makes any sense. What I like to do is, when I think of acidity, I think of acid. And when you think of alkalinity, you think of good or health or positive, green, happy. If a vagina has a pH balance that is neither acidity or alkalinity then it is neutral so it's the seven so you're good so below seven is not good and neither is your smell above seven seven is above and above is awesome so seven is neutral mean you're just chilling just coasting and then you have 14 which is like it's, it's cool. Everything kosher. And then you got below seven. It's like, 
Uh uh, something ain't right. Something ain't right. So just remember that the lower the number, the worse it's going to be. And the higher the number, the more okay you will kind of be. So I just want to come in and kind of give you a little information that probably could go a long way because. I shouldn't smell you when you walk past me. Kevin Gates knew what he was talking about. Y'all need to listen, learn. For once, somebody knows what they are talking about. Like, for once. Oh, I love him for that. Like, when he made that song, it put a lot of people up on that game. And sometimes, I mean, because when you become a certain age, you should know better, like, some of you, Lord, help me, Jesus. I don't know what's going on. I just want to come to you guys and kind of give you a little bit of information that can help you out. Someone's child, a blooming teenager, a grown ass woman. Because, I mean, sometimes. Or maybe you didn't go to chem at all. Maybe you didn't make it to chemistry, but you might have missed that. I like the molecules and shit. I'm weird. But anywho, another thing that's good for vaginal health is cleanliness. So, also remember that if whatever you put on your vagina, you're going to get out of your vagina. So, panties that are blue, purple, green, all those colors are pretty, but make sure that the little strip in the middle of your panties are white. That way you don't absorb none of that dye up into you. Some of y'all might got this confused, like, oh, this is gonna take care of it. Nah, you gotta eat good. And then if you eat well all the time and use this, it's, it smells good. But some of y'all be walking around grabbing this, thinking it's going to work. And no, it don't work like that. This helps keep it regulated, the skin. I use the hot pink one because I am sensitive. All my washcloths have to be white. My penny lines, white. I don't have time to be itching because shit is on me. I don't have time. I don't have time for that. I don't have time to be trying to scrape. Uh-uh. No. Now, this is to keep you guys regulated. So, if you eat healthy, then you will get good out of this. It smells good. I don't have any problems out of it. I've been using it since it hit the shelves because I'm just one of those people that, I don't know, I take pride in cleanliness and grooming. I, I don't like all that stuff down there. It needs to be clean. So, yeah, this is a wash that I recommend. That will keep you guys pH balance intact. If you are doing the right thing. You cannot be funky. And dead smelling. And go wash with this. And think tomorrow it's going to be okay. It's not going to It's not gonna be okay. It's not. You need to go to the doctor. Like. Stat. Things that I recommend. Are. Razors. Now this one. I bought this first. Because I feel like. It's rechargeable. All I gotta do is buy blaze. I will be Gucci. But no, I don't like this. I feel like it was too rough. This one has the razors are right here. And then it has these two, I don't know what you call these, but they get the real fine hairs that the razor in the front can get. And I feel like this one was pulling. And, uh, most of the time I ended up doing my legs with this one. Just because it's so big it can it can't get into areas that I wanted to get in to because I don't I don't like all that. And shaving or waxing I recommend because the more hair that you have down there, the hotter it gets, like on your head and your neck in the summertime it be hot. It be hot. It be hot, y'all. It be hot. And it causes sweat, moisture, and that 
That was your pH balance. You would have yeast infection. You can't be walking around with booty shorts on. With and then who wants to walk around with booty shorts on? With hair coming out the side of them and it's hot. Like y'all need to get y'all life. That is not what's up. It's not. So anywho, I mean, I guess I would recommend this. It's rechargeable. All you gotta do is buy a replacement replacement blades for it. And yeah, I use this on my legs. You can use this wet or dry. And it is waterproof. So, yeah, you can keep this in your shower. I normally use this on my legs. So, this one, this is the one that I've been into. This is like heaven on earth on a little stick thing that you can hang in your shower like this, yo. Like, whoever made this. Whatever girl made this because she really knew the struggle of I can't go get waxed right now because I got bills and I just don't got time for that. Or I don't got it right now. Or I just don't feel like being snatched on right now. Whoever made this, I love you to death. But this is like a kit. This came in a kit. It was like $15. Comes with this little cute little pouch. You can put your stuff in. This is the actual razor. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little. And then it comes with these attachments. This is an exfoliator. So, this is good if you get hair bumps like me. When you shave, that's why I wax. But when I do have to shave. Um, this is good. Just take the brush, lather it up, your preferred soap, and just wash. You won't get any hair bumps. It gets all the dead skin off and all the hair that may be ingrown out and all of that good stuff. So, there's that. And then, here's the little attachment that I didn't know the name of. Um, that gets those fine hairs. I'm pretty sure the men probably know what it's called because... I think it's on all razor blades when you get your hair cut at the bop shop. I don't know. But anywho, it's this little attachment as well. Just to go over once you shave everything down to your length or whether you want it sleek and smooth. You use this one and it just has little holes in it. Maybe the hair rolls off in there and there's a little clipper in there for some. I don't know. I don't know the science about these. But, yeah, it comes with this little cute little case. And you just put everything in a little baggie. Now, this is like a double A battery. So, this is not rechargeable. And I just keep it in there. I keep them together. So, I can buy them and just hang them in the shower like that. Because they're both waterproof, but... Yeah, these are my friends. These are your friends. So, with that being said, there's other organs that has pH balance as well. And if that balance get out of hand in your liver or other things, then it could be deadly and sickness and just nastiness. So, just be clean and eat good, exercise, be well. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys two charts. One is showing you the level and what kind of charge it gives your body. And then the second picture is going to be a picture of how the scale works and how what you eat really does matter on how you smell. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs up this video if you learned something. I had to do this for my teenagers because I feel like some of y'all, some of y'all mamas just don't even bother. Just too young to be musty. Same thing for your underarms. If you know you're going to wear a shirt like this, shave your underarms. Don't... <laughs> Y'all, is this is real life out here. Your body is your temple. Cherish it. You only have one 
body one time because next life you might get another body and it might not be like the one you got in life before so all peace and love thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys comment rate and subscribe share this video if you like i like to interact with you guys follow me on instagram it's mayhem underscore misfit Stay tuned for my clothing line that's releasing on the 28th. And I think that's it. That's it. See you guys later. Peace.